Hello, dear viewers. In today's video, we discuss a topic that is often compared and debated around the world. Do books tell stories better or movies? Everyone has a different answer to this question because both formats have their own advantages and disadvantages. In this video, we will try to better understand the strengths and weaknesses of both books and movies in storytelling by giving examples of book adaptations. If you're ready, Let's get started. Books. Unlimited space for imagination. Books have been one of the main ways people have told stories for hundreds of years. When reading a book, each reader visualizes the story in his or her own mind, shaping the faces of the characters, the places, and the atmosphere according to his or her own imagination. Therefore, books offer readers a great freedom of creativity. So why are books considered superior storytelling for some people? 1. Detailed Depiction of Inner Worlds Books offer the opportunity to dive deep into the inner worlds of characters. By detailing the characters' thoughts, emotions, and motivations, authors can give the reader a richer experience. In a movie, it is difficult to fully reflect these inner monologues and the emotional fluctuations of the characters. In books, this inner journey offered by the author allows the reader to build a stronger bond with the character. For example, in J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series, Harry's thoughts, fears, and hopes are so detailed that readers can put themselves in his shoes and feel as if they have lived the story themselves. Similarly, in F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby, the story told through Nick Carraway's eyes allows the reader to feel the character's emotional turmoil and social criticism more deeply. 2. Rich Details and Depth When reading a book, we can get lost in the world the author has created. The descriptions, dialogues, and storyline allow the reader to create every detail in their own minds. Authors can stimulate all the reader's senses by delving into the finest details of an event or a place. This is very difficult to do in a movie, especially when it has a limited running time. For example, in the The Lord of the Rings series of books, J.R.R. Tolkien describes the cultures, history, and mythology of Middle-earth in such detail that readers feel part of this fantastic world. This depth in the books can often be lost or simplified in film adaptations. Movies A visual and sensory experience Movies are a much younger way of telling a story, but they have a profound impact on the masses. Watching a movie not only tells the viewer a story, but also provides a visual and auditory experience. So how do movies stand out in storytelling? 1. Visual Power and Rapid Narration Movies have the power to create an instant atmosphere for the viewer. A description that can take pages in a book can be given in a single scene in a movie. Thanks to the creativity of directors and art teams, the audience can grasp locations, characters, and events in a matter of seconds. This visual speed makes movies a more impressive option, especially for action-packed stories. For example, the movie Matrix had a huge cinematic visual impact, immersing the audience in a dystopian world. The visual effects and scenes are powerful enough to linger in the minds of the viewers for a long time. 2. Emotional Intensity Films can reach the audience's emotional world faster and more effectively. When elements such as music, cinematography, and acting come together, movies can offer a very intense emotional experience. Especially when watched on a big screen and in a movie theater, the audience is mesmerized. Movies like Titanic can take the viewer on an emotional journey, connecting them more to the story. When the music, acting, and visual elements of the movie come together, the audience's empathy and connection to the story is strengthened. Weaknesses of Books Of course, books are not perfect. The process of reading a book can be time-consuming and requires patience. Some readers may be bored by long descriptions and slow-paced narratives. Also, everyone's imagination is different, which means that the experience books offer can vary greatly from person to person. 
1. Time and Patience Reading a book, especially a thick and complex novel, requires time and attention. In the modern world, many people may not be able to devote that much time to reading. It can sometimes be difficult to fully immerse oneself in a book, especially for individuals who live a fast-paced life. Weaknesses of Movies Movies are also limited in some ways. One of the biggest limitations is the time constraint. The average movie lasts 1.5 to 2 hours, during which time a complex story may not be told in depth. Also, movies are often shaped by the perspective of the director and screenwriter, which can limit the audience's chance to add their own interpretation. First Time Constraint A movie often cannot offer the full depth that a book can. Especially when a thick and multi-layered novel is adapted to the cinematic format, important details may be omitted. This can cause book readers to be disappointed by movie adaptations. Which is better? In conclusion, books and movies offer completely different experiences. Books take us on an in-depth journey using our imagination, while movies create a visual and emotional impact. Which is better depends entirely on personal preference. If you are a patient reader and looking for an in-depth experience, books might be better for you. But if you are looking for a quick and intense experience, movies might be your choice. Yes, dear viewers, books or movies? Which one tells a better story for you? We look forward to your comments. If you liked our video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.